I'm an entrepreneur uh, from a family of entrepreneurs. I came to the UK and started an energy company, green energy, so turning the wind into electricity to replace fossil fuels. Company did really well. I sold it, got interested in e-commerce, and then uh, I met GURPS through that process. And very quickly, he explained the benefits of augmented reality to ex enhance e-commerce and to ultimately give it an advantage over other key e-commerce operations. I uh, very quickly decided to partner with him and uh, LiveArt was born out of that. I got involved in LiveArt because I had an interest in art because I just bought a house and I needed to decorate it and I had problems finding art for my wall and I couldn't keep going to galleries and get them to bring the art to my wall and then not buy it when it was wrong. So uh, live art uh, was, it came out of my own personal need to decorate my house and see what art would look like on walls in my own house to scale without actually convincing the art gallery to send the piece of art to my house. I think live art is gonna change the way we buy art. I think, of course, you'll still get people who like to go to galleries and drink champagne, but I think you'll get an increased, increasing amount of people who can't be bothered and have the money and are ready to see a nice piece of art on their wall via tech and pick it up because, frankly, they have other things going on like to figure out how to make the money to buy the art. Challenges have already uh, presented themselves in the last year and a half. Firstly, to get the tech right. I believe we're, we're there, you know. I believe we're there. But that wasn't an easy uh, venture in itself. Secondly, you know, there's, there's, uh, it's taken a long time just to get artists to buy into uh, the, the app. Now we have, I don't know, 30 odd artists, 300 pieces of art, it's begun. Often when you, drip, uh, when you uh, drop a coin into a pond, the initial ripple is small, but before, the, before long, the ripple is across the whole pond. And that's what's gonna happen with live art.